I'm going to show you, the people, how to make a coffee in a Lapavani uh, my way. Not saying it's the way, but I'm saying this is how I make a nice coffee in a machine like this. Supermarket beans won't work. They do not work. You can it, coffee comes out, but it doesn't work. I use my own beans, of course. Sesanta due by Gon's Lab. So uh, I've got a, a pressure gauge on mine. Uh, you can't get a kit for any any machine uh, through Pavoni Dudes uh, internet somewhere. I've got a fuel pressure gauge on mine, of course. It's very handy. It tells me when it's at 14.7 psi, one atmosphere, one atmosphere. This machine's ready to use. As soon as it's warmed up, before this becomes the same temperature as that, I like to get started. So I will start grinding and I will start tapping. And I like to get it just a bit shy of the top. Just a bit shy of the top. And then just a nice tan. Uh, I'd put, you know, four, four and a half foot pounds on it. You know, measuring from there to there over a circle radius of 2016.498. All these decorative uh, uh, bits and pieces. See, there's King Umberto there, and there's another penny that I turned inside out that I made a collar with. So that's a quick release skewer off a uh, Campagnolo uh, quick release set, all silver brazed and polished. All right, so as soon as I get up to my 15 psi, before all the heat transfers from there to there, I'm ready to go. So, lever up, pre-infuse. Let me get a glass. Preheated, of course. So this should come through with a bit of force. If it comes through, psh, it ain't gonna make a good coffee. If you get a swing off it, you're gonna over extract it. So it needs a bit of force to come through to make a decent coffee. You can probably see the, the actual levers probably get a tiny little bit of a bow in it. That's nice. This is a good coffee for a La Pavoni. La Pavoni. La Pavoni. Look at that. Good cream. That's how, how we say it in Australia, cream. Or crema. Crema? Or crema. You gotta roll the R. Now we're gonna do milk. Milk? Took me nine years to master in this machine. Nine years. I'm gonna show you the tricks on how to get good milk in nine minutes. And I've got a one hole steam nozzle. You can find them on eBay for like $12 delivered. Um, that changed everything for me for milk. And also, purge the machine first. This does a small amount of milk better than any of these machines. Any of these machines. Hold this on an angle. Come up here, Andrew, you need to see this. I will get the tip of this just into the milk and I will fire it up. One full turn open. And I want to hear it breaking the surface and swirling the milk. As soon as it's getting a bit too hot for my fingers to touch, boom, off. Look at that, it's already velvet. Bam! All right, Andrew. You drink it. That's a piccolo. That's what we call a piccolo. It's a great little machine, isn't it? It's sweet it's, it's without no nonsense. sugar. Yeah, that's because of the Santa Due. Is this is this autofocus? No. So it's I've been out of focus on your head the whole time. Yeah, but that's okay. It's not. Critical. Hang on, let me let me get that right. Is it there? Well, look look at the screen. Yep. Dude, I need my glasses, man. Oh. I need glasses on. 